for this circuit we need to find the power dissipated by the resistances so we just have one voltage source and there are several resistances so what i will do i will find the equivalent resistance and then see uh, what is the current find out the current and then i will do to in order to find the power dissipated just i square r so in order to find the equivalent resistance what i can do these three are in series so 60 80 and 20 uh, first i will draw this part again because this part uh, remains unchanged so that's there up to there everything is the same 160 ohms 28 ohms 52 ohms uh, 2 ohms and then 160 ohms this is 20 ohms now 60 80 20 is 160 so there is 160 there ohms now we have two 160s in parallel so instead of drawing the circuit again i will just uh, write one resistance here replace with one resistance so 160 parallel 160 is of course half so that will be just 80 so i will re remove this one and i will just write 80 because this is the equivalent parallel equivalent so that's 80 ohms there now i have 52 ohms uh, 28 ohms and 80 ohms when these three are added this is again 200 volts 20 ohms there and we have 160 there 160 ohms there and when these three are added 52 and 28 is uh, 80 plus 80 so that's again 160 actually so again i have 160 ohms so now i can say i can see that 2 160 again in parallel so i have basically 20 here and 80 here and this is 200 volts 20 ohms 80 ohms so now i know the total resistance is 20 plus uh, 80 which is 100 so current will be i voltage 200 the supply voltage and the total resistance is 100 so that's 2 so power dissipated by register by the resistance by the circuit is i square r so i square is 2 square there and r is 100 so that is 4 times 100 which is 400 watt that is the power dissipated and of course it has to be equal to the supply uh, power so ps we can just verify uh, supply voltage so v, v and i supply voltage is 200 and i is 2 so that's 400 what it has to be the same this is the supplied power and this is the dissipated power it has to be the same